Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you some basic coding and all that. So, first we're going to start off with some very, very basic coding. So, we're going to insert a part. So, here's our part. We're going to change the properties of this part. To view the properties, you go to view. Then go to properties, click this, and down here if you click on that part, we're using Explorer, which is right there, so you can click Explorer, into the part, click Explorer, go to Express, click the part, then down here, it should be properties, and this is all the properties. The main part of so properties we're going to use in this script is going to be the transparency, reflectiveness, Brick and brick colour. So, first, a very basic script will be inside a block. So, first, we're going to tell the script where the part is. So, we're adding a new function by saying local. So, local ABC. We can call that wherever we want. And we can call the brick wherever we want. Maybe like call it BBB. There. Local ABC, I will call this wherever I want. Um, local B equals game dot workspace dot BBB. So here, if we say B, yeah, in the script, we get the script knows that we're talking about the part here, and we're storing the script where the part is. So game the whole game workspace right here and dot bbb it's going to go to bbb so let's drop the line here it's a main code so i'm just going to put some text here location just so you can understand a bit more then here it's going to be same properties. Okay, so we would do BBB, and if you go to BBB, it's going to go to BBB. I'm not BBB. Actually, B we need to do because right here we put B. So um, it's going to go to B. It's going to go to this part called BBB. It's going to we're going to make it go to transparency and change it. So we're going to do dot transparency. Then we're going to change it by putting equals zero point four. So now we've gone game. Can you see it's like that right now? Go in the game. Can you see? It's not so transparent. For this, as or we for this part, local B, we could do script dot parent because a script is inside your part. If we put a script outside of this. It will be going to a workspace if we put a script inside the part. We could use script.parent and we use script.parent inside the part. It works, but if we take the script outside the part, it doesn't work because it doesn't know what it means. And look, the transparency not a valid member of workspace so if we have it outside of a part we, we would have to change this script to dot parent to game dot workspace dot bbb and if we do that if we go in the game it's transparent so right now we're doing the base the most basic one so we're going to change this to script or power then we could do b dot so it's going to be again bbb 
and it's going to go to reflectiveness so you're going to do reflectiveness so I want to change reflectiveness equals 0 0.7 actually I'll do 1 there so it's now going to change this reflectiveness to 1 so it looks like that and a bit transparent it would look like that when we go the game really cool ok let's put this back to the default and test it out if we go on the game can you see it's the same as it was in the um, robot studio when we changed it so we could do a loop with this so after that we could do wait how much so like wait 4 seconds then we could copy this do that then like reflectiveness 0.6 transparency 0.1 then we could do wait 2 Copy this down here again, reflectiveness 0.2, 0 0.5, no, 0, yeah, 0 0.5 transparency. And there, so we're not going to do a loop function for now because that will be the next episode because loop function goes a bit more advanced scripting. So now if we go in the game, it will be changing its properties. Can you see it has changed what it looks like? It has changed. So now we're going to get onto a brick colour. For this, it's a bit different. So we're going to do wait for three, just because I want to carry on the loop. Drop a line, and we're going to do B dot brick colour. So it's going to be, then going to brick colour equals brick colour dot new. So it's making a new brick colour and inside here we're going to put inside this bracket we're going to put the colour so let's find a nice colour toothpaste actually no let's use camel there then let's do weight 2 B dot Brick color equals brick color dot new. Um, let's see another one. New yellow. Now if we go in the game, the loops will carry on and at the end we should have the brick colour change. I'm pretty sure the reflectiveness might change how the brick looks or it might not. Look there, camel and yellow. No mind me. There. It went yellow after. So now we're going to go a bit more advanced, we're going to delete all that. Now in the locations part we're going to go down and we're going to do lo um, W equals zero. So we're going to start doing like for transparency, we're going to do like transparency equals W. So like now if we do B dot transparent transparency equals W we go in the game. Look, the transparency is 0 0.5 just to prove that. Go to workspace EB then transparency 0 0.5. So we can start doing that so live y equals 0 0.7 y 
here it goes in. one p equals zero point one p equals zero point eight so then we can do that then we can do weight five b dot transparency equals d then weight two then like b dot reflectiveness equals u and if we go to the game we should have a new loop. So wait. And look, it's saying it's doing really dark. Then effectiveness. So that's another way to do it like this. W equals 0 0.5, stuff like you have all numbers. So it could just save your time with things. You could have like all the time. Which one would you have? All the time I have to write a number, or all the time I have to write a letter. I'd say all the time I write a letter. So that's why I recommend choosing this method as well. Unless you just want to choose the method from earlier on. So this is pretty basic script. We're going to go on more advanced later on in this series this is only episode one we will again go like go for bigger scripts later on so let's go yeah very little bit more advanced let's put the script in workspace so then we will have if we do local b go script your parent that won't work and we'll do the thing I said earlier, game.workspace.bg. There, if we go in game, it will work still. We save this out. See? So, yeah. We're going to go a bit more advanced now. We're going to do some placing some parts and changing the properties of those parts so you're going to go inside the script yeah we're going to keep this part and then we're going to write, write a new line okay so we're going to do local b b b b um, uh, B equals B, I mean BB equals, wait, no, A equals instance.new. You can change this to whatever you want. Then we're going to insert a part. So we're going to put part there, then we're going to put a comma to say where we're going to put it. We're going to put it in workspace. A dot name equals whatever you want here, so I'm just going to do B and B. There, now that's going to insert a part. We're going to change the properties of that part in a second. So now if we go in the game, that, is, that script is going to do that, and when that ends, it's going to insert a part. See? Just inserted a part at the end. And we're going to change the properties of this part to the same as the other part. So A dot transparency equals D A dot reflectiveness equals U. So hopefully this will work. Right, it did put off. And let's wait for it. We see no else so far. Oh, we'll I have to just wait. See? It's exactly the same as that part. 
The only difference you can see is that this one is flat, this one isn't. Just because I inserted this part myself and I didn't insert this part myself, the script did. So they're not updated a feature yet where um, if you insert a part it's automatically smooth. And look it's got DMV as well. Um, so if we go to surface, yeah all smooth and this one in bed. So there, that's another working script. So maybe you would want to insert something else inside it. Wait, so we're going to do, I think I'm done to insert an uh, int value. Nope. So we're going to call it in value, whatever you want to like. Local, um, block, local block equals instance.new int value b and a blocks.main equals blocks value there we're gonna put this in go chase some marks in there now if we go in the game, if we go in the workspace, and this spawns in, can you see, it inserts an in value called blocks and at the moment the value is zero, you might say how do you change that in the script. We're going to stop the game, go into the script, and we're going to a dot value equals 5.5 5.5 now if we go in the game when the block spawn hopefully in the int value it says 5.5 oh we have a little value part a um, little Bug. Oh, we're putting a va we're using a value inside, so we're going to do blocks dot value. So sorry about that little bug. We're going to change this to blocks dot value. Now, if we go in the game, this should work. Yeah, look, six. I don't. I, yeah, it doesn't work points on this, so it done six because it was the nearest number there. So we, you could change that value to whatever you want. You cannot have that value. This is just um, a a tutorial on how to basic script. So let me just do it here. Add in the int value into the part. Then changing the value of the part. So then we could do wait to blocks dot value equals one nine nine nine. Then, maybe after a couple of weights, we'll do the part gets destroyed. We're going to be in B. It's 199 because we didn't wait that. We didn't, wasn't quick enough. Um, so let's do wait 10 seconds so we can actually see it work. Then in here, six right now. Wait ten seconds. It will change to 199. See? There. So now inside this script we got a lot of different things. 
we have um, all of these. Actually, I'm going to add a new one just to make the script a little bit more advanced. E equals 199. M equals 5.5. Okay, now we'll change this to M and this to E. I'm not sure this will work because it's just a test, but probably won't work because, yeah, we're telling it to for a value to equal A of E. I'm not sure the script will recognise it or the script will have an error. Oh, it actually does work. The script does recognise it. You can name the script whatever you want. So we've done the locations on these properties, we've done saving, transparency and reflectiveness, we've done adding a new thing, we've done more reflectiveness and transparency but with the locations up here and we've added the int value into a block we have and we've changed the int value of a block we have and then we've changed it with the locations. I think we've done quite a lot today, so I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already, and this is only part one, next episode will be the doing other more advanced stuff, bye!